to another edition of Life Pro Live. I'm very blessed and excited to be doing this live with Life Pro today. My name is Deb Pelshe. I specialize as a vibration plate trainer. I have for a decade and a half. And, um, you know, the only thing I love more than vibration machines is what I can combine them with. And I got this tool um, two days ago, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with it. And I am the hardest person in the world to make a good impression upon. Um, but I'm really kind of blown away with this new product we're going to cover today. It's called the Lumacare. The Lumacare is a light therapy device. There's lots of different ones out there. Uh, Life Pro has launched a total of three exciting new light therapy devices. Hello, Dana. Uh, this one is called a torch. And I, I wanted to leave it in the box and kind of go through the simplicity of the packaging. Uh, one of the things I love in particular about this product is its size. Um, it is a red light therapy device. There's lots of different uh, benefits associated with, ref with red light. And I'm going to get into some of those benefits. But first, I want to show you what we're talking about today. So this is the Lumicare. It comes uh, in its own box, of course. And I'm going to get... They've really um, made it quite, out of all the products I've played with uh, that, that Life Pro um, has been uh, so fortunate enough to share with me, nothing got out of the box and started easier. Like there, there, there was nothing literally to do other than throw the battery into this thing. So once you take it out of the box, okay, you've got your perfect little travel case. And this would fit in your purse or your gym bag. So it's absolutely portable. Um, and even though I was playing with this last night, I put everything back in the packaging. When you open it, you're going to see there's a number of things in the box. So to start with, safety first. You'll have to excuse my big hound dog barking in the background. Okay. We are dealing with, with a, a very intense, a very strong and powerful light therapy device. So for safety, there is a pair of, of uh, glasses included in the box. Um, and then this is the device itself. So the, the one thing I really noticed when I took this out of the box, and I have to say this, it feels substantial. I'm an old school girl and my dad always used to teach me. He always used to have this saying about pens. You know, if, if it weighs a lot, it must be a good pen. It's good quality. I, I was blown away when I took this thing out of the box. It is, I, I'm assuming, steel. Um, once it's assembled, it's, it's just under, I think it's 0.4 of a pound. But you can tell it's substantial. And uh, before I put the batteries into it, there's three different lights in, in, in the head of this. Batteries go on the end, and there's a simple little button to get it operational. Um, you're, you do not look at this when it's running, but if you were to look at it, you'd see just two of the lights, uh, the red lights, the, the 630, the 650, and then the infrared light, you wouldn't actually see luminate. I don't want you checking that to see, but just in case you are you do get a little bit of a reflection or you're being snoopy, you're only going to, to the human eye, only two of the lights are actually visible. Um, also in the box... It comes with two, it is a rechargeable product, so you charge it up, you get about up to about three hours um, battery life, and there are two lithium batteries included with this. I'm going to get that open right now. Oh, I had problems with this last night. Okay. You're really going to need one of these. I've charged them both up. And just like a flashlight, you just unscrew the one end. All right. And you plunk her right in here. I'm doing this the right way. Okay. And, oh, I put it in backwards. I didn't want to do that, and I did it anyways. So much for my grace and my poise on camera this morning. Hello from Camel River. Hello, Miss Kim. Okay. There. So there. Now that I've got the battery installed properly... We have light, very powerful red light. Okay, so holy was that challenging. So yes, in the pack, you just you're, you're working with one of your batteries. The other, you know, maybe you're doing multiple people in the family, or you're using this in a clinic. So it's nice to have the extra battery just as a backup. Um, there's a simple wall charger that comes with it. Okay, so you can charge your battery. Uh, it's going to be anywhere first time use. I do recommend charging up the batteries to full capacity. You're probably looking. Uh, anywhere from about two to five hours for that first initial charge and on the device you'll see that the light will go green on this this wall plug once it's all charged up uh, there's a little cloth to keep your lens clean there is a wrist strap 
that you can use. You know, maybe you are using it at the gym or at the office and you just want to have it handy. There's a, a little way to attach. I'm going to leave the strap off today. And then there's a little pocket carry case. So um, if you didn't want to take the full case with you, you just want to chuck it into your purse. You've got a little purse size, or I should say gym bag for my men. Uh, just to carry that with you makes it a little bit more compact if you want to just take it with you on the go. So I'm going to put the case away for now, and we're going to go over a few things here. So infrared light and red light, and, and why do we use these things? So many of you, um, you know, I, I, I'm curious if any of you have used red light before, if you're using it now. There's lots of different light therapies out there. Um, red light is, is more associated with things like inflammation, managing pain. Um, it boosts collagen production. So you'll see it promoted for, you know, anti-aging, the wrinkles, uh, the face treatments. This one is more specifically designed to treat and spot treat pain. It's a very, very short duration. So that the light device itself is, is going to be a total of five minutes maximum treatment time. Um, I'm going to suggest, depending on what you're dealing with, and you'll see some guidelines in, in the manual, they've outlined it quite nicely. But if you're dealing with moderate, you know, joint pain, carpal tunnel, you know, wrist fatigue, sitting at that desk, probably the one to two minute mark is, is going to be your, your time frame. If you're dealing with more chronic, severe pain, it's later in the day, things have built up, you, you might want to extend that to two, maybe three minutes. And I would suggest being conservative to start, give yourself a session or two to see you know, how you're, you're feeling. Um, I haven't been, but I've been reading about for, yeah, there's, there's lots of stuff coming out about red light. Any, again, anything from seasonal disorder to pain. Um, I'm going to show you how hard this is to operate. Um, my own little personal test, because as I said, I'm a critic and, and I pick everything apart when I get a new product to, to take a look at, but I've had for years, this chronic pain in my elbow, I whacked it on the edge of a steel vault door one, one, one year and it's just never been the same. So sometimes if I've been lifting or, or pushing things too much, I, I do tend to feel an achiness towards the end of the day. So here's what I did last night. When you're using this, you want it to be right on the skin surface or no more than an inch away from the skin surface. Um, I'm going to put on my safety goggles because it's safety first. Um, just don't look at it when it's operating and you can see, Okay, it's fairly intense, the light. And I will say for those of you with heat sensitivity, um, it doesn't really get that warm. You're not laying in a tanning bed or a red light booth where it's you know, gonna be a 20 minute to a half hour thing. Uh, so for those of you that are sensitive to heat uh, treatments or applications that, that involve heat, um, it really doesn't get much more than about body temperature by the time you're done your thing. So I did this last night at about 11 o'clock. Um, I just wanted to have a chance to play with the product a little bit before I spoke with you guys today. Um, I've seen a lot of these at physical therapy shows I've worked at in the past. Um, quite frankly, in the past, these light therapy torches were just unattainable from a cost perspective. Today, Life Pro is launching a special price. Uh, devices like this are going to retail in around the, the I think, uh, manufacturer MSRPs in around 169 bucks. Life Pro is, uh, as a manufacturer, is going to be selling this as a regular price for $119. Today, buy it today, uh, you're looking at $69.99 as a special launch price. So way, way more affordable than the three, four figures that I saw in a lot of these when they first started coming out. Many of them are medical devices being used in medical offices. You're going to pay that price. But for you to go in and pay someone for something that you can do at home for one to three minutes yourself, it's kind of a no-brainer. I think the launch price at 69 bucks is probably about the cost of one office visit, maybe two. So, you know, I'm just holding this here. Um... I'm probably at about the two minute mark. I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit of tingling in my elbow to a degree. How, how you feel and react to this is going to be very different based on your sensitivities, uh, the deficiencies that you might be dealing with. What I would recommend before you take it away from the area, which I'm going to do now, push the button and turn off the light. And as I said, you know, it's, it's somewhat warm, but I wouldn't say it's hot by any means. So again, those of you dealing with uh, heat sensitivities or you know, you, you have reactions to, to treatments that involve heat. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised uh, with, with this device here. Uh, a few other things I want to talk about, the light spectrums themselves. So we are dealing with a, a red light product. 
Uh, again, red light is, you know, it boosts collagen production. Um, you, you, it'll increase circulation, lymphatic movement. If you've got, you know, swelling in the joints from arthritis, localized areas, um, it's great to expedite recovery. You know, if you have lots of muscle soreness after the gym, sometimes before you go to the gym, it's a really good way to, to target those tight spots, especially in the neck and the shoulders, those little muscles that we deal with. Um, if, if you're recovering from an injury, you know, you want to mitigate scar tissue, these types of things. Um, it says the audio is repeating. Can you use this on your face? Um, I would suggest there is another light therapy product that, that Life Pro offers, uh, the Visicure Mask. I don't know if you've seen this product. I'm not speaking about this specifically today, but with the skin, it is a much more sensitive area. I, I would suggest if you're dealing, you know, with, with pain or, or you, you've got, you know, something specifically you want to treat, but I would be very careful using such a high intensity light on your face. You want to make sure you're not getting it in your eyes. That's the, the, the big obviously for this. But I, I probably wouldn't recommend, you know, doing it for, for crow's feet and things just because you're getting into that realm of, you know, don't expose yourself. There are better products designed for the face. Now that having be, been said, yes, logically, there, there would be ways that you could do that, but just get on the face. Um, did I get pain relief last night? You know what? I did. And um, I would say I've gotten completely complete relief. This is something I've been dealing with for the, but what I would say, it was interesting. And thank you for asking that question. I noticed when I was treating it last night, I actually felt sensation down into my fingers. And, and the way that my elbow works is I, I do get a little bit of numbness, a, a little bit of tightness on that computer all day. Like you guys do, even though I was treating this area, I fell down to the fingertips. So, um, one of the things I wanted to mention, and you'll see this outline, in your manual, one of the best ways to be successful is, is Life Pro's kind of come up with a little 333 plan. And, and like something new, um, light therapy, if you've never used it in the past and you're, you're not familiar uh, with it, you know, you may notice an immediate last night, you know, to what degree you, you might have pain relief right away. For some, it might take a session or two. Everybody's going to respond differently to, to this technology just based on, on the body that you're dealing with. So what I would suggest for chronic, severe, severe pain, try to get two to three treatments a day. The reason I say three, 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 three treatments a day for three, three minutes for three weeks. That would be a better indication. Neuropathy, yes, thank you for asking. I would say this is awesome for neuropathy, especially if uh, the person dealing with neuropathy is digressed to the point where, you know, stand sizes or, or other things, you know, maybe aren't uh, a level of comfort, really, really poor. This would be a really good way to certainly target that. Um, and uh, neuropathy was one question. Anyone else getting... I hope everybody's getting sound okay now. Let me know if you're having any issues. Um, so just back to the 333 plan, you know, if you were taking a new medication, if you were starting something at the gym, usually a month, three weeks to a month is a good indication to start noticing things. Not every light therapy isn't like, you know, doing squats on a vibration plate where you're going to die within a certain period of time be fatigued. Something like this is going to be a little, um, if you've been dealing with chronic pain for years and years and years, you know, it's taking you time to, to get to that position. So it's probably going to take a little bit of time for the, for the treatment to become effective. But I'm surprised with, with some of the results I, I tonight. I'm going to be doing some neck and some finger treatments later today, which are other issues of mine. Um, and again, you might see results immediately. Don't be fooled and, you know, oh, I'm good now. Stick with it. Give it at least, you know, a, a three-week period to, to see there, there's other benefits that you you might be um, missing out on, kind of like the recovery piece. You know, you might be feeling better, but you know, give your body that time and, and commit to yourself to that three weeks to just make sure you're getting the full benefit from this. So, so back to the light types, just a little bit. I, I was going to touch on that with red light. There's all kinds of different spectrums. This one, as I mentioned, there's three light nodules in the head of this, kind of like a flashlight. Uh, you've got uh, 630, 660, and uh, nanometers. The 850 is the infrared. Infrared penetrates a lot deeper joint past the skin surface, whereas your your traditional red light, your 630, your 660s, they tend to be more superficial skin surface. 
collagen boosting, you know, sunspots, um, maybe you have pain on the skin surface. Sometimes you'll notice that with things like neuropathy or, or just poor circulation. Um, but if, you know, by incorporating the, the infrared as well, that 850 nanometers, there's a lot of research, there's a lot of evidence out there that by combining the two types of uh, light spectrums or three, you're, you're getting more maximum benefit. And for something like this, where you're wanting to treat arthritic pain, joint pain, muscle soreness, you want to penetrate a little bit deeper. And most of the studies that I've looked at out there, uh, infrared is, is penetrating as, as much as three, three and a half inches. So uh, this little device is going to do everything that you need uh, on the home. It's, it's really quite a convenient tool. Other things I want to talk about, they're giving one away. Um, I should have mentioned that sooner on, but yes, engage with me, write comments, um, ask me questions. Anybody who's in the feed uh, participating uh, and listening to my ramblings today uh, is going to be entered and, and we're going to uh, give one of the Lumicares away. So, wow, another, it is an exciting product. Um, I for, for those of you that, that know me in my training, I get too excited about most things. I tend to be the skeptic. And as I said, I've seen a lot of light devices um, I used to distribute the lipo treatment uh, to the tune of 20, 30,000 US. And the fact that they're bringing this to you guys today for $69.99 is, you know, the monthly payment on, on most of the ones I'm, I've been looking at in the past. So I'm really excited, not just for my own personal gains, but I've got a lot of clients that'll benefit and it's something they can afford to take home. That's the big thing. Um, we're still getting a little bit of poor video reception i'm hearing um my, my my help on on the back end here if you guys can can hear me i don't know if, if you're still having some issues but if you're having sound issues just drop us a comment it's another good way to uh what else can this do uh, repetitive stress many of you are sitting at a desk a thousand times a day or maybe you're a truck driver and you deal with natural shoulder tension uh, maybe you're a caregiver over people all the time and your back is killing you so this is this is something i would absolutely you're in a situation where you're not at home all the time you do a little when that pain and tension is building throughout the day perfect uh, take with you option and the fact that it's it's lithium battery you got up to three hours per charge you know you're not having to it's it's convenient you could use it in the car for crying out loud as long as you're a passenger um not sure where everybody's coming from today i uh, am up in canada uh this product is is primarily launching in the u.s today uh, let me know where you're from. And uh, what, what I would like to say is there's you can get this on Amazon or through LifePro Direct. So for those of you that are that are LifePro members now and know how fabulous they are, uh, this product, like anything else through LifePro, comes with a lifetime warranty. Can't get any better than that. Um, and like I say, you've got there, there's other light therapy products. So, you know, there is never one perfect device for every application. Uh, we had a question earlier about, can I use this on my face? And I think logically you could, but I think you'd find it more convenient with, with their other products. They've also got the Aleva Red uh, Light Therapy Belt, uh, which is great for, for treating skin conditions, toning and tightening. There's lots of different benefits, but this is going to have its own place in your little therapy arsenal. Uh, you are from Bowie, Maryland, right between DC and Annapolis, Maryland. I was in Maryland a few years ago for a big conference um, I wish I had more leisure time. Uh, Life Pro is amazing. Their customer service is the bomb. Uh, I, like I say, I, I come from a vibration training background. I've worked with a lot of different manufacturers and I, I'm just so impressed not only with the service and, and thought that, that, uh, Life Pro, uh, gives to its customers, but this lifetime warranty thing is, is the biggest no brainer for me on any of their products. You know, you guys work hard, uh, times are tough. And, and when you spend your money, you, you know, you want that investment to last and uh, give you relief for a very long time. So you just can't go wrong uh, with their service and their support. Um, I'm doing comments in the chat, but never started. I couldn't get to the Facebook Live to start. I found this one that already, oh, I'm sorry if you were having trouble coming to this. This is something you'll be able to see. Uh, if you weren't able to join us live, you're gonna be able to see it on Facebook uh, later on as a recording, I would imagine. You have all five of their products so far. Awesome. Um, so many of the things I'm saying today resonates with you. Um, you know, it's not uncommon for me to have two or three things on the go. You know, I might have my feet on a vibration machine. Uh, you know, I might have uh, the neck massager. I really enjoy that new product of theirs. And, you know, now I've got something new to play with. 
Um, I, I would also think if you're a pet owner and you've got a dog with enough patience, this might be a little thing if, you, if you're dealing with some bad hips or, you know, inflammation. Animals have the same issues that, that we do. So, you know, if, if this is something that you're uh, thinking of, of using on your animals, um, you know, it's probably a little bit more convenient than some of the other devices too. Um, what else can I tell you? Don't forget, we're doing a giveaway for those of you that have just joined us. Um, Life Pro is giving away one of these bad boys today. So please make a comment. Let me know where you're from, uh, what ails you, what are your aches and pains, and, and, and what might be a good idea to, to treat this with. You know, I, I know my aches and pains, a lot of mine tend to be joint related. Um, I'm almost 50, so yeah, I'm probably getting some arthritis, um, toxicity, those types of things can contribute to pain. So but again, there's lots of scientifically proven benefits to red light. What type of application you're going to use really is going to vary depending on um, you know, your, your plans for treatment. We've got someone from Alaska. I have never been to Alaska, but I have spent a lot of time in the Northwest Territories. Beautiful, beautiful country up there if you've never had a chance. Christmas this year is, is a me year. This would be ideal in a stocking, would it not? Um, really, you know, if, if you're buying something for family or friends, shipping, um, I like little gifts that ship well. My mom um, has lots of different therapy tools. A lot of them are from Life Pro, and she's in a very small space. So I, I get excited when little things come out because not everyone has real estate to, to put into a lot of therapy devices. Wisconsin, I love, love Life Pro. Um, I would love this for ankle pain. Um, absolutely, right? Depending on your flexibility, um, I can totally see me doing this on the couch tonight, right? If you do have issues. Um, I have seen some studies, um, probably more of a long-term effect about the, the visual appearance on things like varicose veins and spider veins. And because this is, is a fairly intense device, I'd be curious to see long-term if you do have any, any really bad spider veins or um, things that way, um, if, if any of you have some feedback on that a few weeks down the road. Uh, hip arthritis, tennis elbow, knee pain, back pain. Um, God, we got a lot in common. Um, you are only, I always say, you're only limited by your imagination and your range of motion. One of the nice things about this over some other tools is it is really, you know, it's not encumbersome to hang on to. Um, you're only using it for, like I say, one to three, maximum of five minutes. So your arm's not going to get fatigued holding it in place. Um, if you are treating multiple uh, body parts, one thing that I would suggest is making sure that you, this is a high powered device. And as I said, it doesn't get terribly hot. But you want to prolong the life of your investment and make sure that you're not overheating those lights. So if you do plan to do more than one treatment, I would suggest giving it two to three minutes to cool off before those periods. Um, someone asked, is it FDA approved? This is not a medical device. There's many light therapies out there that are not. If you were looking for a device that is FDA approval, you're looking more into the medical device range and you're probably looking at more cost. Uh, I know here in Canada to get medical licensing, it's it's about a $45,000 a year investment. And medical device isn't a guarantee on the treatment. It's it's more of a certain, depending on the type of, of licensing, uh, your FDA is, is going to certainly put the, the manufacturer through some checks and balances. If you're looking at a, a non-FDA device, which this one is, part of the reason I wanted to mention the the, the light spectrums is, is that's what you want to compare. So if you're looking at an FDA device or you're looking at a study, you're going to see references to those nanometers. Six, you know, patients were treated for three minutes at 630 or 680. So there's there's three different spectrums in this, and those are the specs you want to compare. If you're looking at a light therapy device where those are not disclosed, that would be some red flags. So sometimes when you're comparing devices um, that are FDA versus not FDA approved, you can still compare them, but you want to make sure that there's certain specifications that you can do to assess those. And the, the nanometers on the light therapy is, is a very good thing. If you're looking at a device online and it doesn't specifically specify what those are, you absolutely wanna ask. Um, if they're not disclosed, there's usually a reason though, in my experience, um, they should be forthcoming with something like that. Um, I would use it for my knee and my rotator cuff. It looks like a game changer. Yes, like I said, for those of you just joining us now, I've only I only received this a couple of days ago and I started playing with it last night on my I have a bad elbow. Um got a bad attitude sometimes too, so we'll see how it works out on that. But this one here, um, it was interesting as I was treating it. I wouldn't say the pain was completely gone. It's kind of that nagging fatigue pain that I get towards the end of the day. 
but I would say a good 50 to 60%. And, and what I was mentioning earlier, what was interesting about it when I was treating the elbow, I felt down all the way into my fingers. And when the tension builds here, I do feel a little bit of sensation issues or tightness, sometimes even some swelling in some of the joints. So it, it was interesting, even though I was treating here, I was feeling a bit of tingling or sensation down into the fingers. So I know something's going on there. Um, muscle tension from chewing on the side of tooth problems. I just had a tooth extracted three weeks ago. Um, yes, I think you probably could use this on, on the jaw. Um, that's a very, very good thing to consider playing with. Um, my husband is a teeth grinder. So sometimes, you know, his tension headaches when he sleeps, he, he's clenching his teeth all the time and, and he, he does develop tension in the jaw. So, you know, earlier we were, you know, there's, there's never a black and white answer. I'm sorry to be jumping all over the place, but someone asked earlier, can I use it on my face? Normally when someone says, especially if it's female, I'm sorry, when they say, can I use it on my face? You know, we're thinking the crow's feet, we're thinking, you know, lines. Um, but certainly from a chronic pain, sunspot, you know, this might work. I would suggest for physical, like skin treatment, anti-aging, the, the light mask would probably be a better product for, for regular use. But if you're dealing with jaw tension, um, yeah, this probably would be a game changer. And I, again, ideally, you're only using it for three to one to three minutes. So it's such a short treatment time. Um, I love all my life pro products. I'm excited about this and I do apologize. We, we got kind of a flurry of questions there. So if there was something that you asked and it seems like Debbie just blew past it and didn't answer it, please post your question again. Again, we are giving one of these away. So the, the way to enter it is to post a comment. If you haven't already done so, like I said, let me know where you're from. Let me know what ails you and, and you know, what ideas you might have. Uh, to, to treat this and, and what body parts. And for those of you are that are jumping on this special today at $69.99, regular $119, uh, almost half price really. Um, if you're looking at this product and you are playing with it, come on back and let us know. Give us the feedback. You know, sometimes, as I said last night, I, I only gave it an initial impression, but you know, as I was talking earlier, go with the 333 plan for those cr the chronic, the high intensity pain, up to three minutes, three times a day for three weeks. Give this thing a chance. Again, if, you, if you're dealing with chronic issue, especially things with arthritis, it's going to take some time, long term, uh, to fix the effects. But you might notice short term results. So don't fool yourself. Don't stop treating just because you're feeling some improvement. Give it a good three to four weeks to, to, to completely make sure you're getting full benefit. And uh, someone was talking about hip pain earlier. Uh, how long is the special price on? I believe it's going to be on for the, the entire day. So even though this live is going to end at some point. One. Yes, I, I'm very, very fortunate that I got one to play with in time for the live, and I'm looking forward to experiencing. Like many of you, spend seven to eight hours a day. So, if it's right there, I know that I'll use it. Even though I, I love and thrive machine world, I'm just like you. If I gotta come all the way down to the bench and, and and make an effort, you know, sometimes I'm just too into what I'm doing. Whereas if this was sitting there right me, you know, I could do I'm, I'm reading or working on the computer. So I think it's going to be a real game changer. Um, my mom had a stroke and has residual uh, retraction of her left hand. Absolutely. This would be an I, um, the only thing with someone like a, that's dealt with a stroke or if you're dealing with, I, I would want to make sure that, that she's able to treat herself. But um, we know it promotes circulation and lymph. Um, you know, I think you would probably see some pleasant effects to that. And the fact that it's warm, sometimes there's, there's cold laser and there's different treatments. Um, um, what, what a lot of my seniors, when I'm dealing with or Parkinson's, you know, you, you don't want to make them cold. And, and I, I've always found that they're, they're very receptive to warming. They're comforting. They're like a bowl of grandma's soup to a degree. I think she would probably find that very, very beneficial to the hands. Um, the hand has a lot of surface. So again, I just want to stress if you're treating one area and you want to treat a different area, give your device two to three minutes before you, you treat another area. You, you just don't want to make sure you want to make sure it doesn't overheat on you. Uh, for her hand, depending on how you, you're treating it, you know, you can see, you know, this is pressed right against my skin surface, you know, so she could even just, you know, hold it like this. If it's more in the wrist you know, really depends on where you want to treat. But again, one to three minutes, if it's chronic, chronic pain, lack of sensation, you, you want to go with a little bit of a longer treatment. Um, 
And, and sometimes it takes, like I say, you might immediate effects, but you make sure you're sticking with it longer term to make sure you're receiving the full benefit. Can we hold the light in one spot for three minutes and move it in a circle back and forth over the area? I, I would be cautious not to over treat. Make sure you're wearing your glasses. I, I don't see why you couldn't add a little bit of movement, but keep in mind, um, you know, you're, you're, for best effect, especially if it's for pain, try and keep it in that area. You can bring it up to, like I say, about an inch on camera. But if you want to treat a bigger surface, pull it away slightly, right? And you're, you can see you're getting a bigger surface on the hand by pulling it away. Same with the elbow. So if you are doing something like that, you know, maybe you'd want to do something like this versus right on the skin. But if you want to get a bigger surface area, up to about an inch away from the skin, you're going to find this is effective, okay? Um, I hope that answers. I can't see anything with these blue blockers on. Um, it'll definitely take, yeah, for travel, it's a no-brainer. Um, if you are traveling, take the lithium battery out of it just to be safe. Um, if, if you're getting on an airplane or something like that, but, um, I like putting it, I, I can see me putting it in the sleeve and just carrying it with me in my purse. I carry a small purse, um, pain reliever. Yes. Would it help with cerebral palsy? I'm really glad you ask. One of the things I actually specialize in, in, in my vibration machine training is I deal with a lot of pediatric cerebral palsy and I've got a rather large, uh, uh, support page. I think it absolutely, depending on the symptoms that you're dealing with. So a lot of times people say, well, it help with cerebral palsy will it help with rheumatoid arthritis i'm more interested in about the conditions so i could line up 50 of my clients with cerebral palsy and they're all dealing with different levels of spasticity it's affecting different limbs so when you say treating cerebral palsy i'm going to say it's for spasticity and tightness because that's usually what i'm dealing it's the hamstrings and the butt cheeks yes i would say treating Certain areas um, for, for tightness is going to be a game changer. The belt might be a better idea if you're looking longer or combination of these. Um, but I, I think it would be a, a very advantageous tool. A lot of my families also use massage guns, those type of things. But I think the light therapy is going to be, if you're dealing with severe cerebral palsy, and, and, and some of my children are very non-mobile, um, you know, unable to communicate, I, I think this is going to be very, very tender to the touch they're going to be very receptive and and if there's sensory issues as well they're going to receive this very well they're going to be very receptive to it so that, i don't know if that's you that's dealing with cerebral palsy or if you're caring for someone but yes I, I i'm really looking forward to uh introducing this to some of my families as well what type of glasses do you need you don't need any because they come in the box so for those of you that are just joining us a little bit later let me pull that back out because i know we were having some feed issues so in the box you get a wrist strap, you get your charging unit for your lithium batteries, you get an extra lithium battery. I've got one in the device and there's a carrying case in here and these come with it. So these are a very dark tone sunglass, right? So if you have, you know, eye protection for sure, if you have good sunglasses, those would probably be sufficient if you're taking it with you, but these fit right in the carrying case. That it comes with so you don't need to purchase anything separate to operate the device this literally I, I was saying at the beginning of the feed out of all the devices i played with with life pro nothing has come out of the box and started with less steps this thing was an absolute no-brainer even if you couldn't read english and, and and look at the manual there's there's no way you can't figure out how to get this thing going i might have missed that glasses came with it when i was having yes i some were having so i just wanted Thank you for asking again. And for those of you that maybe didn't join us from the beginning, if there's things that seem like an obvious question that, you know, you're not seeing in the feed, maybe it's something I went over earlier. There, there were a few communication issues early on. So feel free to ask me two, three, four times. If, if you've got a question, I want to make sure that things are crystal clear here for you. Um, Joel and his team are brilliant. Yes. He's a pretty cool dude, isn't he? Um, will it work good for plantar fasciitis? Another very common issue, I would think, yes, um, I, I would add some calf stretches to that. Plantar fasciitis is a symptom, you know, so depending on, on what it could be an athletic thing, it could be a chronic condition, but I would say an ideal way to, to do this is if you're doing any exercises for your plantar fasciitis, some heel stretching, some, some, heel, or, um, some hamstring stretching, some, some calf raises, those type of things. You want those calves strong and you want to be stretching them. But this would be a really good way to target the bottom of that foot. That The plantar, if, for those of you that aren't aware, the plantar is, is a muscle that kind of fans out off of your heel. And um, you could really get in deep 
with something like this just while you're sitting on the couch. So I think it would be an ideal option for something like that. And again, minimal treatment time. So you're looking a minute to three minutes. You might want to do a couple different areas. You're still going to be well under 10 minutes. Um, so thank you for asking that one. Um, and it, uh, if it's chronic, um, look into that. You know, chronic for me sometimes absolutely is chronic, but sometimes, you know, we, we've been dealing, pain can be like a relationship. You know, you've been dealing with it so long. You know, sometimes you only know, my oma always used to say, oh, I'm still alive. Well, you can tell you're alive because you're still in pain, but that's not, <laughs> that didn't make me happy that she was in pain all the time. I didn't have all these tools. She dealt with a lot of severe osteoarthritis pain, um, but she did deal with plantar fasciitis. Uh, she had a very bad stroke, several of them, and she used to favor the one side and developed it quite bad. Uh, we used to do a lot of manual stretching on her, uh, but absolutely, I'd be curious for some feedback on uh, the person that asked about the plantar fasciitis. If this is something you pursue, get back to us and let us know. Um, Amber has videos for plantar fasciitis that would definitely complement this treatment. Thank you for bringing that up. So yes, if you do have other Life Pro products, you know, sometimes using them in, in, in harmony with each other and in complement is going to ramp up the effect. So if you are using one of their treadmills, a vibration plate, foot massagers, you know, anything you can do to ramp up and better prepare the body for a treatment like this, you're going to have better optimal outcomes, more effect in the long run. Um, Definitely need one. Imagine being pain-free in life. One of the perks of being in the Life Pro family. Yes, you know what? I think we suffer too much, and especially in the last year. Pain, you know, presents itself in a lot of different ways. And, and pain is a message that your body is, is telling you something. You know, what's causing that pain sometimes isn't always so obvious. Um, I deal with a lot of chronic sciatic issues. And, you know, even though I feel it in the back of that thigh and, and the glute, it's usually because my knee's out of place. I've, I've got a really bad knee from years ago. That's how I got into it. And if I'm not taking good care of my knee or I'm lifting too much, not doing wearing high heeled shoes, you know, it doesn't present itself in the form of knee pain. And sometimes I forget. So sometimes when your body is sending that signal of pain or discomfort, it's trying to tell you something. So an alternative to the Advils, the Tylenols, I'm not saying, you know, get off of your pain meds, but you're just masking the problem long term. Maybe it's time to start, you know, fixing the problem and, and, and working towards a solution. And I really hope this presents some solutions for some of you out there. I love this family. I love being a part of this family. I've been working um, and supporting Life Pro and many of their clients for about a year now. I work with a lot of different devices, including medical uh, grade versions. And again, for the quality, the lifetime warranty, um, just the support that you receive. Nobody's an expert in every one product, but you know, fr from a general perspective, they're they're very resourceful. If they if they don't know the answer to a question, then you know, I sometimes ask some pretty hard questions and technical questions. You know, they always make an effort to get back to me, um, and they you know they're 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 not phony. I I don't know what other word to use, but there's a lot of companies out there that I've dealt with. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem, we'll get that to you. And then I, it never transpires. They always follow up. They always get back to me. Um, they're, they're very, very, I love the relationship I have with this company. Awesome people, super support. Um, how far away is safe to look at it without protections? Um, I, I wouldn't risk it. You know, um, you know, certainly, you you know, if, if you, if you're catching a little bit of glow out of the corner of your eye, like I have done, but it's the curiosity of, of human nature that is the beast. I don't want your kids doing this, right? I don't want you doing this thinking it's going to fix your floaters or your, you know, your cataracts, you know, there, there are other light therapy treatments, but you know, you're not a doctor, you're not a therapist. If, if you are looking at using this for something chronic, you know, something to deal with the eyes, you know, don't just look at Google, double check with your doctor uh, prior to use, especially if you are dealing with, with some kind of chronic condition. Um, recovery from an ankle sprain. Ooh, not a good thing to be having to deal with. Um, I would say it depends on the ankle sprain. If you're dealing with a lot of swelling right now and you're not able to bear weight, um, it's going to be ideal, um, because you can treat it without, without applying any pressure. Um, you can be away from the skin surface. So it's probably going to certainly ramp up that, um, the muscle soreness, if you're having some swelling, if there's any micro tears in there, you know, it might expedite uh, the development of, reduce the development of scar tissue. Scar tissue typically develops within, you know, three to four weeks of, of an injury, even with something like an ankle sprain. So it's going to mitigate the development of that and, and hopefully prevent stiffness and other things down the road too. So absolutely, I would use it as a recovery tool. Uh, it's going to expedite recovery on that. 
Um, it's true, customer service has always been great at Life Pro. It absolutely has. Um, that's my ankle sprain, back and neck pain. Again, depending on what's causing it, if it's just general aches and pains, probably one to two minutes uh, in a couple of different areas. If you're dealing with degenerative disc, something more severe, severe whiplash, um, you know, treatment times are going to vary and it's going to depend on your tolerance. If you're dealing with something new and you're in a lot of pain, you know, it might take a session or two to just start loosening things up a little bit and you might notice things start being more relieved a session or two in. All the more reason to stick with this, even if you see some benefit right off the bat, stick with it for at least three weeks when you first start out. Uh, Texas, excited to hear more. What about swelling of ankle and lymph in the evening? Absolutely 100%. Red light in general is great for circulation and, and lymphatic movement. Um, I deal with a lot of very specific fat disorders as well, things like lipedema, Durkheim's disease, FML, and joint pain and swelling is common. Swelling in a joint doesn't always mean inflammation, but because we're using red light, it's kind of a double whammy. So it's going to be great for, for inflammation. It's going to be great for swelling, um, especially that end of day fatigue. If you've been on your feet or, or sitting too much and those feet are down, put those feet up on the couch and start treating. Depending on, swelling is really going to be common around the ankles. You get those elephant ankles towards the end of the day. But some of my clients even notice in, in the top of the foot and the toes, there's some swelling as well. So this would be a great way to, to, to spot treat that in, in a leisurely way. Question, would it help swelling in the ankles that happen after taking a medicine? You know what, that's a very big question. And it's really, to be honest, if, if, if it's gonna depend on the medicine. You know, I would first hope that that is a, a, um, a disclosed side effect. So if you are taking any kind of new medication or, or treatment, um, you know, if they've got their own list of side effects and that's one of the, you know, forecasted ones, just be aware of it. If you're experiencing swelling and it's not a listed side effect of the medication, you might want to look into that a little bit further. Um, but I would suggest if, if you're getting swelling due to, to uh, medication, you know, that there, there's a reason the lymph is, is, is pooling. Um, ideally it should treat it, but I, I would want to probe a little bit further into what's causing the swelling before I give you a blanket answer. I hope that's not too great of an answer, but um, and, unless that medication is, has stated a side, a, a side, you know, there, there's a potential risk of swelling. And if it's something that's showing up that's not in that manufacturer's um, disclosed thing, you might want to look into that a little bit further with your doctor or who you got the medication from. Hello from California. Um, I got home and was able to access this on my laptop. I'm hoping, I, I'm sure you're going to see it a little bit later on. And I know that they've got a couple of other lives scheduled today as well. My husband's blood pressure meds do that. Okay. Uh, so that's a common thing then um, with, I don't want to say so common, but, you know, if he's not active now, the, the big thing when you're dealing with, with heart conditions is, is sometimes fatigue. It's hard to do traditional activities because fatigue presents itself. A vibration plate's a really good idea if you're dealing with any kind of cardiac issues. But um, if it's something he's normally getting due to medication and you're already aware of it, I'd say you're probably okay to, to go ahead and treat this and make sure that he's hydrated. You know, you want to make sure you're hydrated anytime you're moving lymphatic. doesn't matter how you're moving it, whether it's a mechanical stimulation, you're walking, or you're using something like this. If you're moving lymph and you're noting, noticing swelling, it's absolutely critical to make sure that you're, you're on your hydration. Um, can you use this with organs like liver? That would be a question to speak with your doctor about. In theory, yes, there, there are some studies uh, about anything from detoxification to treating the liver. I am not a liver doctor and Life Pro is not a medical company. So even though you're going to see some research out there with red light, that is something I would absolutely want to talk to your doctor about before you just randomly apply it. Um, I can't see there being any ill effects, but the liver is kind of a general area. You're treating organs. You, I, I would double check with that one on your doctor just to be self. Curious why you want to treat the liver. If it's due to toxicity, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of different reasons, but, um, that's kind of a, a big, great question. And, and I would want to ask some more questions if I was your trainer and supporting you on this, but I, I would absolutely talk to your doctor first about treating it with this type of technologies, just to see what they have to say. Another thought about it for lymphatic. You can only, he can only vibrate on the plate for five minutes. He gets pretty exhausted from that. That's great. What I would suggest have him sit in a chair. Um, most of the people I deal with in my fat disorders group, you can't even do the five minutes. Like sometimes it's a one to two minute thing, but you want to get that lymph going. Start or finish 
with a bar height stool. So put a chair by that machine and get started with just your feet on the machine. And while you're on the machine, you can be treating yourself with this. So to get longer durations for that lymph piece, uh, you know, you don't have to do the whole time standing. How many times a day can I use it in the same spot? I would say about three times. You know, let's not overdo, um, overstimulate. You know, it's not like an exercise where you're going to fatigue. So I would suggest, that, like they've outlined in, in their manual, you'll see that they've outlined in the book, the beautiful book that their marketing is just sexy, isn't it? Um, the three, three, three plan. So three times a day for th up to three minutes for three weeks. And, and especially if you're dealing with those chronic issues. So I would say that the, the per body part, three times a day to a max. The, the, this light will go five, but I would say start, you know, in the middle, somewhere in that two to three minute and build from there. If, you, if you're looking at moving on and treating a different area or a, you know, a, a bigger area, give the, the light, uh, the, the Luma Care two to three minutes between uses to just let the light cool, cool down. Can it be used over clothes? You know, I don't see why not. I, I think if you've got four sweatshirts and a t-shirt on, you're probably going to, you know, bring down the intensity, but you know, just to let's, let's do a test. Well, you can see it through my shirt. So I would think, you know, if you're wearing a light cloth surface clothing, you know, something like that might be ideal. Um, you're, you're not going to have any issues, but if, if it's really thick clothes, it might interrupt the penetration of the light spectrum itself coming through the clothing. But yeah, you know, if you're wearing, you know, compression sleeves or something like that, I don't think you're going to have any issue treating through clothing. Um, their manuals are top notch. I'm glad little things make a big impression with me. I've, I've looked at a lot of these devices over the years and I'm always thinking from my client's perspective, you know, does it make sense as I'm going through this? Is it absolutely crystal clear on how to use this device? And uh, for those of you that are just joining us, um, launch price today is 69 bucks. It's going to be a regular buck 19, which is still completely affordable, but I've never taken anything out of the box from like, everything's easy and very, very well uh, outlined as far as how far, you know, how to get it out of the box to operational. But this was an absolute no brainer. We were up and running within two minutes after we got the batteries charged. Um, sinus swelling in the face. Um, again, I would want to know what's causing it, you know, treating something, you know, I, I don't have a crystal ball. So there's probably a lot of different reasons that there's swelling in the sinus cavities. Um, is it a, is it just a sinus infection? Or are we dealing with something more severe? I, I would want to, with something like that, talk to the doctor first. In theory, absolutely. It's probably ideal to treat those regions, but make sure you're wearing your, your glasses. You're getting really close to the eyes. And I would want to just okay that with your doctor, depending on what's causing issues in the sinus cavity. Um, can you use it on kids? Kids is a big question. I do everything on my kids. My kids are my guinea pigs. Um, Kids aren't um, excluded from these type of therapies. Uh, we were speaking a little bit earlier about cerebral palsy. I deal with a lot of pediatric recovery. Um, a lot of my clients are like six, eight months old. Yes, I would think this would be absolutely fine to use on your kid, but you want to know what you're doing and you want to make sure that your doctor's on board. We're dealing with a littler body. It's penetrating, like I say, three and a half to you know three inches. Um, if you're dealing with things like spasticity, muscle soreness, growing pains, I think it would be ideal. If we're dealing with medical concerns, absolutely check with your doctor. Check with your doctor. Um, are we concerned about dogs? Are the people in the room while using it? Will it hurt their eyes? You know, again, it's a direct feel. Don't shine it in their eyes or don't use it as a late. I, I play with laser toys with my dogs. And I always say, you know, be careful not to shine it in their eyes. You know, this isn't hurting my eyes. You know, there, there's a, just a little bit of a hue. But I, I wouldn't look directly at it. So if, if your animals are in the room, just make sure that you're not pointing it towards them. If they're super curious and won't stay away from it, everybody's, your, your dog is going to be different than my dog. My dog probably wouldn't stay away from it. He's super curious. So, you know, I just, I, I like holding it when I was treating my elbow last night. I like holding it on the skin surface versus further away. If you have a dog that you play with a laser toy now, he's probably going to think it's the same thing. So use your own discretion. Um, do you know if it's good for postpartum? <gasps> Thank you for asking that question. Yes. Red light is very, same reason it's kind of good for the seasonal disorders thing. I think it would be very, very beneficial for postpartum. I think LifePro has, again, there's never one device that's perfect for every application. Um, I, I think 
the a combination of their devices would be ideal for things like postpartum. I've shown this one before. This is their, their Visicure, the face mask. It's hands-free, sits on the face. But I think any type of, of right, red light exposure is, is going to have a benefit. Uh, and it's, it's a mood booster. It's a collagen booster. It boosts circulation. So I think you may notice some results with that. Uh, and I'm sorry if that's what you, if you're dealing with that as well. I can re relate from personal experience. Um, old shoulder injury, downhill skiing in Montana. I'm about an hour and a half from Banff, so I can so relate. Um, and my son actually broke his collarbone. Uh, this spring jumping out of a golf court. So I think it would be ideal, especially on the go. If you are a skier, it's going to fit in your bag. And if, if you're noticing some tension for me with a lot of my, my chronic aches and pains, I'm in a very seasonal part. Of, so we get lots of cold, lots of summer and, and my seasonal activity is change. So I find that, you know, for weeks I'm getting back into skiing, my knee aches, my everything aches because I'm just really conditioning those muscles so this would be ideal to take with you on the go or use as a warm-up or recovery if you're doing other activities as well um skiing the thing with a shoulder injury too you're probably doing something repetitive so you've got the 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 shoulder injury and if you're dealing you know on a mouse or you're a massage therapist or you're doing things where it's taxing on those body parts it's just going to that cause more inflammation due to that previous injury and multiple times a day don't just leave it till the end of the day when you're suffering it's kind of like when you take a, a Tylenol or an Advil for a headache when you start feeling it on versus if you left it too long as soon as you start feeling that pain that inflammation that would be a great time to, to give it a little bit of attention before it builds into something greater again it uh, the, the benefits of red light there's there's tons of them but the main ones that I think you're gonna resonate with are, are that boost in circulation um, lymphatic movement, muscle soreness, muscle tightness, and spasticity for some of those conditions. Um, if you're dealing with expedite recovery, gym, you know, muscle soreness, there, there's a, a lot of reasons this is more of a pain device than a fat device. Red light is marketed in a lot of different ways, and you want to make sure you've got the right tool for the application that you're looking at using it for. Um, replying from Bonnie Smith, have the a person sit in a sit on the plate or on the chair um sitting is also a good idea if, if, if you're dealing with fatigue or or lack of, of of range of motion sometimes sitting in a stool is, is a little bit easier sitting on the plate is an amazing experience but if you're dealing with poor mobility or or weakness in the joints it's the getting up off the ground that can sometimes become uh, more taxing especially after you're all relaxed so um, yes, if you're dealing with chronic fatigue and using a vibration plate is, is where that came up from. We were dealing with talking about a heart issue earlier. Um, you know, break up the time. You don't have to standing on it is the best way to build bone density. Your weight that that's the the key to building bone density is those weight bearing positions. But sometimes fatigue gets the better of you, and you could do a combination of sitting and standing. Um, how does it compare to the belt? It's a different type of application. It's going to be a little bit more ideal if you're looking at dealing with the love handles and, and the, the aesthetic treatments with them, although it is great for, for pain management. This is a little bit more intense, a little bit more targeted uh, local application. I can see me using them. So the, the, the red light therapy, the Aleva Red is, is what's been asked about. And uh, it absolutely would probably be um, different applications. Um, but I, I think in complement, you could absolutely use them together and wrap up the effect. Same with the face mask as well. Um, you kind of got to look at what you're using it for. You know, if, if primarily your goal is is to be treating skin and 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 weight reduction, I think the belt is a better investment. I think long term, choose one thing. But I, I think for the vast majority of people dealing with chronic pain in the joints. Uh, and localized, I think you're going to find this is a, a better tool for that. Um, is this device too strong or otherwise inappropriate to use for wrinkles or collagen stimulation? Uh, that was asked a little bit earlier. If you're looking specifically just for the anti-aging effects, there's a lot of study promoting red light um, for because of uh, the collagen. The, you know, it energizes the cells. It boosts that collagen production. Um, specifically what you're looking at using it for, I might suggest the Visicure mask. Um, my concern, you know, I mean, yes, you could use this to treat the crow's feet and the wrinkles, but you're getting pretty close to the eyes. Very strong device. And I do recommend using the glasses. 
kind of going to be challenging unless you've got maybe some tanning glasses or something. So just be very, 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 very. very cautious if you're looking at using this too strong that reason for the the lower treatment times your belt or the face mask is a longer treatment time the intensity on this is is quite a bit higher so that's the reason for the one to three minutes on the treatment time um there was a battery question yes it'll charge it up to, to five hours and you get about three hours treatment time so considering you're only using it for one to three minutes you're going to get lots of treatment everyone else in the family is using it what's really nice and, and I, I deal with a lot of uh, commercial um, businesses medical offices what I really like about the extended battery life is if you are dealing in a clinic situation where you've got multiple clients you know you're not having to plug it in or, or screw around with batteries so it's it's gonna last throughout the course of your day and then like I say Life Pro is always thinking ahead. You've got an extra battery in your pack. So just make sure you've got it charged and, and you're probably going to be good for days between the two batteries. Um, Molly, you can shop. Yes, and look into the Visicure. Um, today, as I said, it, it launch price is $69.99. If you haven't made a comment, if you're just joining us already, we are giving one of these bad boys away today. So absolutely make a comment um, why you need this, what you're dealing with. Um, if you have any questions that you would like me personally as the trainer to address um, or Life Pro, and, and you don't get a chance throughout the course of the live, we'll be going through some of those questions and just making sure everyone gets an answer as well. Extra battery, yeah, you know, it's they're just thinking ahead, right? Um, love it. Um, and even in the pack, for those of you again just joining, like it's so little. You know, you've got your 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 light therapy torch. You've got the plug-in. You've got a smaller carrying case. There's a wrist strap. Um, the sunglasses, for those of you that, that weren't here earlier, um, we absolutely recommend glasses. You don't have to buy any. There's some included here. Um, but does it have auto shut off? Yes, it automatically shuts off after five minutes. So you, I recommend a treatment time, you know, with mild pain, probably more on the one minute end. If we're dealing with chronic or severe, you're going to lean more towards three. Build up to that five minutes. Just because it goes five minutes doesn't mean go five minutes. We as human beings have a tendency to think more is better and we overdo things all the time. So just because it goes for five minutes doesn't mean you need to use it for five minutes. It's easier to add time. So, you know, try it out for three minutes for the first couple, three days. See how you feel. If you're, if you're tolerating it well and, and you, you'd like to ramp things up, then maybe increase the time. But one to three minutes starting out, but it will auto, auto shut off after five. Um, does it have a timer? Yes. Five minutes per there's a little button here and it'll shut off automatically a mobile shoulder yeah one of the big things um and i love using other products uh, the red belt's a nice one for the oliva red is a nice one for shoulders as well but what's really nice about this as opposed to maybe a massage gun if you're using that now is it's a lot less taxing a lot of my seniors have really really poor range of motion frozen shoulder and this thing is like 0.4 pounds so it, it is maybe for some as opposed to a massage gun a little bit easier to get up into that neck and the shoulder area it's less encumbersome it's it's less taxing on your hand you know sometimes with the massage gun just hanging on to it if until you build up a little bit i do find my hand strength has improved a lot uh for some of my clients with with using the gun but if you're finding it's hard to hold on to things you're dealing with neuropathy or limited mobility i think you're going to find this a much user friendly tool to get up into those tough areas um, I have very flat feet. Get into the arches with this. I think you'll enjoy that. Is it FDA approved? This is not a medical device. You'd be paying quite a bit more. I did talk a little bit about FDA earlier on, but I'll cover it again since it's been raised. No, it is not an FDA approved device. Um, what I would suggest if you're comparing it to other medical equivalents is make sure you're looking at the light spectrums. Um, this one, just to recap, has 630 Six, eight, 660 in the red light and it's got 850 nanometers in the infrared so um, looking at other devices online and those specs are not disclosed it makes it a little bit hard um, FDA doesn't guarantee results it doesn't guarantee it's gonna work it's just a different set of certifications that manufacturers have to go through it's very expensive 
Um, it's very timely. And it, again, it, there's no, I work with a lot of FDA medical approved devices. I work with a lot of consumer grade devices and it doesn't necessarily, and in a lot of the cases, it, it doesn't mean you're getting better results, but you definitely are getting more. Um, I would say an FDA version of this is probably going to be more in the, in the high three uh, to $69.99. Varicose veins, uh, someone asked that earlier. I do know there are benefits to red light therapy for varicose veins. Um, and we talked a little bit earlier. I'd be curious if any of you to come back in a couple, three weeks and see what kind of results you've been having. Uh, spider veins, varicose veins, if you've got a couple of spots that are giving you trouble, I'd be really curious to see. I know a lot of people that have had success using it. Uh, I'd be curious to, to hear your feedback. I'm certainly going to try it on mine. Yes, I'm almost 50 and I've got horrible, horrible spider too. Um, I'm four weeks post-surgery to release scar tissue from finger tendons post multiple fractures. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That sounds very painful. Tendon adhesions from scar tissue and gentlemen. Um, I would say absolutely yes. Um, red light is, is very anonymous with uh, accelerating wound healing um, and ex expediting recovery, minimizing scar. But it's going to boil down to your sensitivity post-surgery. So if, if it's hard, you're tender to touch, you might want to treat it and get my light glasses back on safety first, just to give you the visual. So I would suggest instead of placing it directly on, you might want to pull off to get a larger treatment area anything up to about an inch away from the skin surfaces is recommended so depending on where that surgery was on the hand this might be a very very easy way for you for you to treat that and just ramp up the results uh, and expedite recovery the main reasons you'd want to use this post-surgery is um circulation and lymph it does a lot to expedite recovery scar tissue so it's it's a really convenient way to do that without maybe doing weight bearing things or applying pressure so if your hand is really tender uh, or still sore after that surgery ideal tool uh, to manage um, and stick with it you know don't don't just do it for a day or two and then you know stick with it a good three to four weeks on that one uh, definitely want to try it for spider veins and varicose uh, if it works for that, I would definitely shout out to the mountains. <laughs> I know I've tried a lot of things over the years. I'm a big fan of using as I, I, I'm very biased on the vibration machine world because that's been my coaching background for 15 years. And, and what I will say is we're just seeing how some of these light therapies might wrap things up for me as well. Uh, glasses. We're dealing with a very high intensity light and, and you want to protect the eyes. Not that you're going to be shot right in your eyes, but accidents happen. Kids come in the room. So you don't have to purchase these. These are included in the kit that come with the device. Um, I actually have no pain in hands or fingers. So, oh, that's great to hear, Molly. Okay, some, everybody's a little bit different. You kind of describe injury there. So if you're not dealing with any pain, at this point, you might still be dealing with some, you know, obviously some compromised range of motion. I think you'd find it very soothing for, for it would be the best way to describe it as. I find that my vibration platform helps with veins and spider veins as well. Perfect treatment or if, if, you're, uh, if you have one of the treadmills, just to get things moving. Right. And if you do spend time sitting, well, you're probably going to be stagnant while you're doing this type of a treatment. So, yeah, a couple, three minutes is all you need just to get things moving. It's going to wrap up the effects of this device. The machine kind of better prepares the body for whatever you're going to do to it next. And a lot of my therapists um, that are using the non invasive lipo treatments will also use it as a post exercise. You're going to get better effects if you use it as a post exercise to sort of complete the process expedite that lymph logic tells me it's going to be the same uh benefit uh prior to using this so if you've got other life pro devices absolutely combine them you're going to wrap up the results um i actually have no pain what else? what do you what, why do you need protection for this device and not the visicure right and different intervals in this whereas with the mask, 
it's more of a, a, a bead. I'll just put this on so you can see. Okay. And with the Visicure, there is no actual lights right in. It's a very different type of light than in this. Um, and it's a skin surface. So this is going to be more, you know, acne, uh, you know, sunspots, the um, inflammation in the face, whatever, whatever's causing that breakout. Whereas this is more really designed as a, as a pain treatment tool than aesthetics. So I would suggest, oh, hang on, too many buttons to push. Uh, for, for me, this would be, if you're looking just for aesthetics for the face, I think that might be a better product long term. Um, this is getting that, the, the, because of the intensity of it, it's, it's more ideal for targeting pain is, is really the big thing with this. Um, I got an email and ordered, very excited. Oh, look, that's great. I'm looking forward to some feedback once you guys start playing with this. Um, the eye protection. Uh, I'm almost, oh, I'm a little over an hour here. So if, if there's any questions, thank you guys for engaging as again, we are giving one of these away. So anyone who's still here with me, if you haven't made a comment, find a reason to ask me a question. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what your problems are and how I can help fix them. Uh, comment in some way or sh shape or form so we can get you entered for the giveaway on this. It would be great to, to get one for free. Um, but for those of you that, that are, um, looking at considering this product again, I just want to recap the similar 50 to 170 range that I've seen out there. Look at the buck 19, 119 99 today for the, the launch price is going to be nine. Or if you're, if you're considering the other light therapy products, you could combine them. Of the, of the special offer they're offering today it's the regular price um, um i can just see the positive in florida the whole way new see, sit there trading yourself why not uh, i'm from california and i'm hoping this will heal a lot of pain i received during pregnancy and postpartum i'm sorry to hear that um yes you know light therapy uh someone else had asked about the postpartum earlier on there's a lot of benefit and and research to to validate you know, anything from seasonal disorders to mood, it, it's very comforting, uh, very soothing, uh, the, the red light. And, and I think, you know, just as a side benefit, you're going to notice some improvement in that area. You're from Tennessee, Louisiana. Um, will it help with IT bands? I absolutely would think so. I, I would want to know what's causing the pain in the IT. You know, is it is it running? Is it is it a chronic thing that you're dealing with? It's a bigger area to treat. Um, but I, I would say absolutely, you know, get some shorts on and, you know, sitting on the couch, target those areas. When my uh, outer thighs tend to flare up, it tends to be right up here by the, the hip joint and more down towards the knee. So um, I think just sitting on the couch or sitting at your desk, it would be a no brainer. Um, and again, th there's a high intensity uh, on this compared to the other products. Uh, with this one, with your, your infrared, you're penetrating three to three and a half inches. So more than adequate to treat those IT bands. So glad LifePro decided to go with red light. It helps my depression. It helps with my depression. Yes, it does help with depression. Uh, I'm in Canada where that sets in a little bit earlier, sometimes the seasonal. Um, I just get depressed when it's dark out all the time. And there's a lot to be depressed about nowadays. There's a lot going on in the world. So anything that you can do that is not a pill or, you know, you know, something that you have to put into your body, this is non-invasive. So, you know, um, better than a pill that's, that, you know, I'm not saying stop taking your pain meds, but hopefully this can give you some relief and even reduce those types of things over time. What about skin scar treatment? I had a big hysterectomy. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely scar mitigation. Um, whether it's on the surface, whether it's internal, um, if you've got a, a big surgery scar from those babies, I think you're going to notice a few stages. I've treated a lot of scars with other red light products until uh, this came out. My experience when you're treating scar tissue, depending on how old the scar is, and the, I really noticed the coloration changing was the first thing more than the texture. So, um, you know, if it's really purpley or dark red, you might notice an, a lightening up of that scar area. But I think you'll notice that it'll, there's a softness and a pliability that, that, you'll, that will improve over time. Um, would this be okay to use if we are breastfeeding? I'm not aware of, of any contraindications if, if you're, you're pregnant, nursing, or breastfeeding, but caution always exists. 
Um, I don't know if I would treat the breasts directly, um, but I would suggest, you know, while you're breastfeeding, just, just make sure safety first. If you're thinking of doing it while you're breastfeeding, you know, I wouldn't put the, the glasses on the baby, but make sure you're not, you know, it's not exposing to their eyes or anything like that. But I, I really, I'm not aware of any contraindications. So, um, you know, I, I will look into that one for you, but to my knowledge, and I've been looking at this stuff for a long time, I'm not aware of any contraindications to breastfeeding. Uh, what about belly wrinkles? Um, in theory, yes, it might take a little bit longer. I would suggest maybe looking at the Oliva, the Oliva Red Belt because it's going to treat a bigger surface and it's more of a skin surface issue. Um, the red light is, is more that skin surface, the epidural. This is going to be, or the epidermis, this is going to penetrate a little bit deeper and would take a lot longer. If you've got just a particular area or a stretch mark or something like that, ideal. But if you're looking at a larger mass, um, mass reduction, skin tightening, I think you might find a better effect combining the Oliva Red with this. That's just my two cents. Uh, and I, I've got the Oliva Red. I've only been playing with that about a week. So a lot of my results are kind of short term. I look forward to hearing uh, you guys uh, give some longer term feedback once you get a chance to play with some of these. Um, I have scar from hip to hip. Oh, okay, that's less than a year old. And newer scars are going to respond different in my experience that than something that's much older, it's more recent. So you're probably gonna have better effects than if it's something that's 20 years old. So absolutely that, that you know, if, it, if it's a scar from hip to hip that you're dealing with, uh, assuming from a C-section, you know, you're kind of dealing with a line versus an entire surface area. So it, it might be a good alternative for you to try out. Um, what about numbness in arms at night when sitting? Would this help? I would, you know, I'm always a, a bigger picture person. So obviously something's causing this numbness. It could be posture. It could be some degenerative disc. There, there's obviously something pinching there. But because it's so good at dealing with tight muscles and muscle pain, yeah, I think you'd probably notice some effect. Um, if, if you weren't on here earlier, um, this is Christine. I'm doing this without my old lady glasses, so I'm pretty impressed I can see your comments. Um, but if, yeah, sitting on the couch numbness at night, I did an experiment last night. I just got this going yesterday, um, but I have a, a really sore, nagging tennis kind of elbowy thing. I, I whacked my elbow on a, a steel vault door many years ago, and I, I get like pins, pins and needles and sometimes numbness down into the hand. And when I was treating it last night, I did about three minutes in two different areas that, that I tend to have the pain in. I could even feel a little bit of something going on in the fingertips. I don't know if it was circulation or lymph, but I think sometimes when you get numbness, you know, nerves are being pinched and they're, they're not communicating in, in the way that they're supposed to. So by relieving the tension, logically, I think you might find some relief, but that's another one. I'd be really curious to get some feedback on if this, some, this is something that you're considering. Um, this has been fantastic info. I'm so glad Belinda. I'm a bit of a rambler. I'm a care provider by nature. So I tend to gush on how good it makes you feel. And I, I sometimes am not as salesy as I should be, but it, I'm very, very excited about the price on this. Honest to God, I, I've mentioned earlier, I've seen a lot of these at physical therapy shows. And as much as I've always dreamed of owning one, they've just been out of touch on, on the budget. A lot of the FDA devices are going to be way, way too expensive. But I, I have the specs on this, as I said, um, you, you've got three different beads of the, the three light bulbs in here. You're only going to see two illuminated. Not that you want to be looking at it, but I did do a little test to put my glasses on and, and I kind of pulled it away and you can see. The, the infrared one, you're not going to see illuminate. It's not visible to the human eye. <coughs> Excuse me. And it doesn't get very hot. So after about the three minutes, it was probably body temperature. It was warm. It wasn't hot. For so those of you that are dealing with chronic issues where you, you just can't tolerate pain, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with this one over the Oliva Red Belt. The Oliva Red Belt, you're wearing it for a much longer period. It gets a little bit warmer due to that. Um, with this, you're only one to three minutes, five max. Uh, you're not gonna notice it heating up in the same fashion. Rambling is good. I bring up questions we didn't think of. You know, sometimes it does for sure. And you know, sometimes as a trainer with the experience that I do have, I always have an answer. But what's, what's struggling for folks like me and, and Amber as well, you know, when people say, well, is it good? I had a question last night. Is it, is it good for MS? Well, I don't know. What, what is the MS causing? Is it fatigue? Is it, you know, sometimes it's more to me about the symptoms that you're dealing with 
A condition is just a label that they've slapped on you. So, so you have MS, so you have fibromyalgia. How it presents itself in the form of symptoms is going to vary dramatically between person to person. So um, if, if you're dealing with a label or a diagnosis of something you get, you've been uh, diagnosed with, I tend to tune in more, what are the symptoms of that? So are you dealing with fatigue? Are you dealing with joint pain? Um, I can have 10 people with neck pain caused by completely different conditions, but how I treat it might be the same. So I, I tend to ask some probing questions more about, you know, it's, that's, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you have cerebral palsy, but what are your symptoms? You know, is it, is it motor skills? Is it spasticity? You know, there's lots of different ways that symptoms present themselves from person to person. I am two weeks into three cracked ribs and the belt has, ooh, that doesn't, three cracked ribs. What does the other guy look like? I've seen clients crack their ribs just from coughing excessively, you know? So the red light belt, um, if you've already had success with this, uh, that product, you're, you're going to have, you know, bonus, uh, you, you know how well red light works. Something like a cracked, three cracked ribs, it might have been a little bit easier to wrap that belt around, but, you, you know, you could treat the ribs this way too right? Uh, it's going to penetrate, like I say, three to three and a half inches in there. Um, and it's going to accelerate bone healing. I've read some studies on that as well. Uh, anyone used for lower back pain? I did actually last night, my, my husband's got a bit of a trick back, especially when he's working on vehicles and he gets a very, it almost feels like his back's going to slip out. And, and I did, after I treated my elbow, I held it on, on the low of his low back for about three minutes. I don't know if it was placebo effect. You know, it usually takes me a few days to get him straightened out, but he did seem to uh, have an okay sleep last night. Um, I haven't actually checked in with him yet today, but um, I think if you're dealing with lower chronic back pain, the Lever Red might be a better day-to-day -day product, and, and you can actually plug that in in the vehicle. If your back pain is is more localized, there's a, there's a trouble spot, this might fit the bill. But if it's general aches and pains in the whole area, the belt might be a better option or multiple treatments. And if you are doing multiple treatments, for those of you who didn't catch me ramble it earlier, this will automatically shut off after five minutes for a reason, because it's it's much high powered, much high more intensity, the, the lights themselves, you don't wanna overheat the lights. So if you are using multiple treatments or doing multiple areas in, in, in one session, just give it about two to three minutes between uses for the bulb to, to cool itself down. Does this product also need a cardio need a cardio or something to boost lymphatic drainage? Okay, I think you're thinking of this as a, a, a fat burning device, and it's going to to a degree. Um, I did speak a little bit earlier. If you've got a vibration plate or or one of the the treadmills, you could actually boost the effect of this by you know better preparing the body, getting that lymph moving, especially if you're dealing with joint stiffness and those type of things. It'll just just be more relaxed if you warm yourself up a little bit. If you're using red light. For fat treatment, reducing fat, yes, I absolutely recommend uh, using post-exercise in some way, shape, or form. Go for a walk. Use your vibration plate. Do something to ramp up and help complete that process. So if you're using red light in general to treat skin, uh, accelerate uh, fat loss, you do want to have a post-exercise component. What that is is really going to depend on you. Um, I have terrible bladder pain. I hope that answered your last question on the cardio. Um, I have terrible bladder pain constantly. I have been using treatments for over 20 years. It's hard to get relief. Uh, I, I don't know if that's related to bladder infection or if, if you've you know had some structural issues be compromised there. Um, I would suggest for bladder pain, you know, there's a, there's a couple of things, and I'm a big fan, of course, of vibration therapy. So if it's due to like prolapse or you're having leakage in that area, anything you can do to strengthen those muscles. But I would ch check with your doctor because we know the healing effects of red light. You know, you're only by your imagination. But I would think if you wanted to treat that area, the belt, the uh, uh, lever red belt might be a better option. But with something like that, I would recommend checking the efficacy and, you know, I don't know what else you're doing for, to treat that. So you might just want to make sure uh, it's a good compliment. Um, um, this help with fatigue and feeling like I have big rocks. Um, if you have, you know, sometimes big rocks tied to your feet is related to other conditions. It's a very common, um, heavy fizz is very common with, with people dealing with Parkinson's and and it's, it's not just because your feet are tired, but can it help with, with 
talking about earlier, uh, there was one else that mentioned about swelling they get in the, from, um, you know, the course of the day building and, and you could absolutely treat this and, and target it. What I would suggest for the feet, um, if it's a soreness thing, I'm putting my cool shades back on because I want to show this again. You can press it right off the You don't need to apply pressure. But if you wanted to treat a bigger area, pull it away a little bit. If, if you're looking at it, as much as an inch because you're this, um, you know, you're going to get a bigger, but you want to have your glasses on when you're doing this. So that might be a better way to treat the foot pain, depending on where the foot pain is. Maybe it's on the bottom of your foot. Maybe it's on the top. You know, so if you're treating, you might want to do uh, multiple sessions. And again, it turns off automatically after five minutes. You want to do probably the one to, one to, to, to three minute mark on that. Um, I go to the, I go to doctor. Again, I, I would want to know what your symptoms are. Is it pain? Is it nodules you're dealing with? There's a few symptoms. Um, Deb has just raised a question and she says she goes to her doctor for treatment, but it's really going to depend on what that condition is presenting to you. Um, absolutely, I believe pain is probably one of the things that you're dealing with. And this is therapy products they have from a localized basis. This is going to wrap up the effects from a. Um, but if you're dealing with nodules or lumps or things like that where you're looking to break it up, that might be a good question to pose back to your doctor. Or if you'd like, you know, um, Deb, go ahead and post some of the symptoms that you're actually dealing with in this condition. And then maybe I can offer you a little bit more insight that way. Thank you for all your information today. Plan on ordering today. Video is running longer than I thought. I'm a rambler and there was a lot of very good questions. So thank you for your patience and my rambling. I need to exit and take my husband to surgery. Good luck with your husband. I hope it's nothing major and I hope that he recovers uh, in, in, a, in a fast fashion. Um, would this help with migraines? Quite possibly. There have been some studies I, I, I fell across, you know, red light being a wellness product. You know, it, it kind of depends if you know what's causing the migraines. If, if it is tension related, absolutely, you're, you're going to have some success with that. Sometimes migraines or chronic migraines are due to other things, trauma, head injury, if there's things going on there. Um, I, I would, again, pose that maybe to go back to your doctor. But if your migraines are due to tension, degenerative disc, issues with the spine and the neck i think by relieving that tension you may have some good results with with those migraines or you may notice them reduce over time again another reason you know you might notice some immediate relief but stick with it and keep treating those areas if you if you if it is tension related and you've got migraines due to it there's a lot of tension that's been building for a lot of years it's going to take some time to break down that area uh what about focusing the light on the head for neuro healing I know what you're thinking. There are actually some devices out there. Um, when you're dealing with the brain and the head, I absolutely want your doctor uh, involved. I deal with a, a lot of uh, neuroprotective exercises, neuro rehabilitation, um, but more in a mechanical stimulus with the vibration machines. In theory, yes, you could treat, but I don't want to be the chick recommending that until you've talked with your doctor again you're getting close to the eyes we're dealing with with a completely different thing um and i don't know what those neural issues are and whether this is going to help or hurt them so best to talk to your care provider for the best next steps and if light therapy is something that they think you should incorporate into your treatments then that that's maybe something to look at a little bit further um will this help with hashimoto's thyroid issues i deal with a lot of that in my fat disorders group red light in particular yes there are some benefits but again sometimes it's a what product you know for so um you know are you going to treat the thyroid directly with something like this no but if if that hashimoto's and thyroid is presenting in the form of excess weight joint pain again what are the symptoms that you're experiencing with that label i've got a lot of clients with hashimoto's but several variations within the symptoms that are presenting so you know you want to look at those symptoms what are you looking to treat and that might give you a better direction as far as as to what like light therapy product will work best for you having problems seeing the video um i hope you're not still having issues on your end is it possible to overdo the light therapy sessions per day you know what you can overdo anything and and i i am going to say I, i'm going to be a little bit of a mom and, and if debbie says yeah you can use unlimited you know, we got to use common sense with any of these treatments. And a very common question I get with anything is, 
can you overdo it? If you know you can over, you wouldn't be asking that question if you haven't overdone it in some way, shape or form, but it's not always going to be like exercise. You over exercise and you're sore the next day. You know, you overdid it. Um, I would think if you sat there for 15, 20 minutes with a high intensity light, you might actually burn the skin surface. You know, you've overdone it in a tanning bed, I'm sure in the past too, but um, you can treat multiple areas. So I would stick to, if you've done a treatment in one area, I wouldn't retreat that area, you know, excessively, but you know, up to three, four times a day max, I would say. And then hopefully you're going to start noticing some improvement, but you can treat other body parts. So overdoing it, you know, it's kind of a balance. I, I would stick with kind of a regular routine. If you're changing up how often or, or how long, it's kind of hard to gauge you know, if something does go wrong or right, you know, what was working or what wasn't working. So kind of stick with your treatment plan if it's twice a day, three times a day for however long and, and see how you do after about a week or two and, and adjust from there. But yes, I, I wouldn't over treat and I wouldn't do more than one area three times a day. Um, is it possible to over two? Um, I am a golfer. Would you not put it straight? Uh, would you not put it straight on the thyroid? Again, I would want to ask your doctor on that. And and I don't know your thyroid. I've never met it. In theory, yes, you, you could put red light over, over top of it. But because this is a, a pain, very high intensity, I would keep that treatment minimal if I was giving you a suggestion on that one to two minutes. But I still would want to check with your doctor and make sure it's something that they're on board with. That's the, the safest answer I can give you because I'm the chick on the other end of the video. I'm not dealing with you on a regular basis. Thank you for all the information. I love visually seeing how you use the products. Um, well, and I want to play with it more. So I'm only showing you the scope of, of what my limited experience has shown me because I've only had this thing for a couple of days. But um, I love playing on my clients and guinea pigging with others. So it's the collective experience. You know, Life Pro is an amazing company. They've got a lot of insights. But it's it's when a product gets out there to the market and, and vast majority of people like you are playing with it that we really get some fun feedback and some results. And, you know, I've been, I've been a trainer for 14, 15 years. And a lot of the things that I, I get stuck in my own brain, sometimes what I like, what my preferences are. And sometimes I don't do all the moves all the time. Sometimes I forget things or sometimes I injure myself and I need to do different things. So, you know, the, the ability for these products to be attained at such an affordable price, variety is the spice of life. And, you know, there's never going to be one, perfect device for everything you want to treat variety is the spice of life um but they're they're absolutely attainable again just to recap i i know i'm running extremely long today um msrp on this is going to run anywhere from about 140 to 170 for comparable devices on the market life pro is bringing this to the market at 119.99 which is extremely amazing value because a you get them as a company to deal with and they're amazing and they have a lifetime warranty which is also amazing but they're giving it to you today for $69.99. So if you are turned on by this and you're excited about it, today's the day. Um, it's, it's an offer throughout the course of the day. We are giving one away. So for anybody just joining us here, because I've rambled an hour and a half at this point, um, get a comment in. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what your troubles are. Uh, tell me how much I'm rambling. Make a comment in some way, shape, or form just to make sure that you get entered into the giveaway at the very least. We've got to give you a chance. I'm going to start winding this down unless I have any um, major questions that I haven't addressed. And if I have a, missed any uh, of the questions, I completely apologize. We had a, a number of them come in here. So um, if there's a question that you have after you, sometimes you got to think about it. You know, you get Debbie can be a little overwhelming and clog up the brain. And, and once you get off, you might reflect on something that I've said and have a question. Reach out to Life Pro, uh, tag me in this if you have any specific questions for me. Uh, we're happy to address your questions. We'll be doing that throughout the course of the day. Dealing with carpal tunnel, absolutely carpal tunnel. To me, that that was probably anything in the arms because it's so little and it's so portable. Uh, carpal tunnel is going to be a, a big tennis elbow, anything um, that you want to treat with those areas. But be patient with it. It's taken time to develop that condition. You're going to need some time and stick with it. Give it the 333. Three. You'll see that in the manual. Three times a day for three minutes for three weeks to see the full effects. Um, I'd like to enter the constants. I use it for local knee pain. I have bad knees too and a bad attitude sometimes about that knee. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing. And, and when I try new things, I have so many different devices um, between my vibration machines and everything else. When I try something new like this, I kind of take a hiatus and I stop using anything else for a period of a day or two just to give it 
you know, is it just me and the other things I'm doing or is this really doing something? So I didn't do a thing uh, yesterday on vibration machines and I, I sat on my butt much more than I did uh, norm normally would in a day just, just to sort of, you know, give this an honest chance. And I was really impressed again, not only with the effects that I felt, but how simple it was to get this thing up and running. I was really excited about that. I love the lives. Uh, hope to see the product in action and be able to use uh, ask these questions again. Absolutely. Um, I did do a few demos. Um, very self-explanatory in the book. I just want to, again, one more time, show you what comes with it. So in the box, you get the device. You get the required safety glasses. You get a little cleaning cloth for the lens and those glasses. There is your wall charge plug for your lithium batteries. And um, you're going to get about three hours use on, on a standard charge. They've been kind enough to include two batteries. So I've got one in the device and one stored and charged and ready to go. Uh, for any of my therapists or doctors out there using this in the clinical environment where you're treating more people, or maybe you're a big family and everybody else in the house is using it, you do get three hours uh, approximate use on this. Um, so if you do run out, you know, you pretty much got a day's worth of use at, you know, a minute to five minutes of treatment with the two batteries. So you're, you're not going to run out of battery life. That's a big thing, especially if you're traveling too, that's going to be a big bad, uh, bonus. Uh, thank you, Blaze. Nice to see you here. Um, Alberto, I appreciate everybody listening to my ramblings and um, I do that a little bit when I'm nervous. And uh, I'm always nervous uh, about sharing new things. So um, thank you for your time today. I think we're probably going to wrap it up. Uh, Life Pro has uh, other things to get to, and, and I've rambled up an hour and a half of their Facebook feed. So again, if you have any questions about today's amazing, um, take advantage of it. $69.99 is, is the launch price. And uh, regular price at, at $119 after that is still much more than affordable. If you have other Life Pro tools, combine them to ramp up the effects of everything. If you have any questions, especially of the medical uh, variety, that's kind of what I specialize in. Tag me, I, I will answer any questions. And I wish you an amazing rest of the day. Don't work too hard, guys. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Thanks so much.